What could make someone who's been sober for so long relapse? Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to say that relapse is not a failure. It's a reset. Relapse is often a part of recovery. Now, for me personally, I have not relapsed in the seven years since I've gotten sober, but I know that that could happen at any time because addiction is a very tricky disease. It's a disease that tells you you don't have a disease, that you can drink like a normal person. But I know you can't, and Trace Atkins knew that he couldn't either. The fact that he was able to stay sober for 12 years is an extraordinary achievement. Now, whatever happened on this cruise ship with the, with the other passenger, who knows what led up to it, but I can say that relapse does not happen overnight. This had obviously been brewing for some time. And look, addiction is a tough thing. And it, it affects tens of millions of people in this country. And there is no cure for it, but there is treatment. And, and Glenn Beck and I are living proof that you can be treated for addiction and go on and live happy, happy healthy, productive lives. Trace Atkins has been doing that. He had a slip. Doesn't mean he's a failure. Doesn't mean he's a bad guy. It means he's human. You know, addicts aren't bad people trying to get good. Trace Atkins now isn't a bad guy because he relapsed, and now he's trying to get good so he won't disappoint his fans and his family and himself. He is a sick person who is now trying to get well again. And I applaud him for taking the step to go to rehab, and I applaud him for being public about it. He could have kept this private, but instead he said, you know what, I respect my fans, I respect my family, I respect myself, and I'm going to share my story because by sharing He's helping other people.